Hi, this is Jim Thompson with Rogue IT. This short five-minute video is going to give you an overview of what the Chargent application will do for you. We're going to uh, just show you three basic tabs. The first is the Gateway tab. You notice I've collapsed the left bar here just to make better use of the screen. This is what a Gateway record looks like. We have one active Gateway record per Chargent installation. And so we would uh, encourage you to obviously only have one Gateway configured. Here I'm using Payflow Pro. Of course we do support uh, Authorized Net, Barclays, EPDQ, and a number of other gateways that are in development such as Amazon. This is the basic gateway record and uh, we use terminology such as Merchant ID and Security Key, but you can see by rolling over these um, question marks that we also have other terms that we support as well. Looking over at the Opportunity object, what I've done is created a, uh, a test opportunity. Now this utilizes very standard Salesforce SFA capabilities. You see here that, uh, let's pretend that we're an accountant and we're issuing an opportunity as a sale to Stacy Johnson. Here we have tax preparation, uh, $250 charge. You see that she still owes $250. I've entered in a few of the basic fields, such as the billing name, address, city, state. What we're gonna do is go into the edit mode. You see here that uh, as I skip down I want to specify that the payment method, for example, is credit card. Now, one of the great features of Chargent is the ability to have the multiple transactions. You see here that uh, we can override and do a manual charge that is less or equal to, of course, it wouldn't make sense if it were equal to, but less than the amount of the opportunity. So if you think of the amount of the opportunity being the, uh, the amount of the order. So what we're going to do here is first charge Stacy a $50 deposit. You notice that we've not received any payment. The payment received field will be updated automatically. So we come down to the bottom and we're going to enter in Stacy Johnson as the name on the card, the uh, expiration month and year, which we'll put in here as February 2012. Sorry, it's getting cut off a little bit at the bottom. And we're going to enter in just the test card number, 16 digits, of course. We're going to save that. So now we've got an opportunity for Stacy Johnson with 100% uh, probability, obviously, because this sale is closed. There, I'll widen it out for you a little bit. You see I've got credit card. I have a transaction total of zero because we've not actually charged anything. So the next thing we're going to do is come down here and hit Authorize. This immediately sends out uh, a notice to Authorize Net and brings back a response of approved. See how quick that was? I click OK. You notice I come down to my transaction list and I have a transaction now, number 81, which is paid by credit card with an authorization of $50. Now, of course, this is just nothing more than an authorization. I could either click the charge button and convert that over to a successful transaction, or I can go individually directly to the transaction and click the charged authorized. Okay, now that's gonna convert transaction 81 to an approved charge of $50. I'm gonna come back to Stacy Johnson's opportunity now you see that we have an amount of 250, a balance due of 200 because we're automatically calculating the $50 charge. You see here transaction total is a total of all the transactions that are approved. We've had one such charge. Now if I were to uncheck the manual charge, what's going to happen? We're going to reset our charge amount to 200. That happens through workflow. Uh, you'll notice that 200 of course matches the balance due. And I could either charge the remaining amount all at once or I could do it in increments. We now have received partial payment on the opportunity. So what I could do is, leaving this test card number in here, I could actually uh, issue the full charge of the $200, and that would set this as a fully paid opportunity. I could either uh, also change this over to a payment by check, and specify that they're paying with a checking or savings account, and I could walk through the e-check process. That, of course, assumes that your gateway account is configured for electronic check. So we're going to save this $200 charge, and what we're going to do now is click the Charge button. You see here now Transaction 82 is approved. The page automatically reloads and brings us back our two, oper our two charges of 50 and of 200. You see that Workflow has automatically set the payment received value of full. The balance due is zero. We have two transactions for a total of $250. And that is how easy it is to use uh, Chargent. 